Is your people uh, Jacobites or English lovers, Arthur? I will tell you right now that nothing will happen if you follow Dr. Renault's wagon or any wagon in the game. They just go in a loop, an infinite loop, until you get bored and stop following them. The event is complete and the game wants you to move on. However, it is still amusing and Arthur had fun. And I think you will too. How y'all doing? I have a very good morning to you. How do you do, sir? You meet Dr. Renault, as you recall, as a stranger event in Rhodes during Chapter 3. Dr. Renault's first name is Alphonse, for your records, and the title of this stranger event is No Good Deed. Arthur will show you some highlights. You okay there, mister? You need me to move? Move? I am. I'm sitting in the wrong place. Excuse me? No, I didn't mean any offense, sir. Please. I don't get your meaning. I'm very sorry, sir. You have yourself a fine day, and I apologize for any offense I may have inadvertently caused. What are you drinking, mister? Nothing, sir. Nothing at all. Why are you acting so strange? I don't mean to. I'm sorry for any offense. How could you have offended me? I have no idea. But I had no idea how I offended the last fellas. And they stole my wagon on account of my impudence. Stole your wagon for back chat? Mm, they didn't like my medical practice, I suppose. I was helping folk. And that wasn't popular? I was undercutting the competition. Or I was too colored. Or I was irritating in nature. Or I was some know-it-all big city slicker here to demean some good old boys of my fine words. The exact variety of my sins was the source of some conjecture, so they undercut me. That ain't very nice. That was my impression. Still, compared to the gutting, castration, defenestration, and crucifixion they offered me, I felt I got off lightly. Defenestration, to quote Google, is the action of throwing someone out of a window. For example, Arthur was defenestrated by Big Tommy in the Valentine Saloon at the start of Chapter 2. Come on, pretty boy. Pretty boy, you're kidding me. Imaginative bunch. Yes. But no great love of my medical practice. Too free with my wisdom and services. <sighs> Which way they go? Down the road, that away. Stay here. I'm sort of forced to. Please don't go to any trouble on my account. Mm hmm. Are you looking for that fellow's wagon? I heard him say they was taking it to Macomb's Inn. Okay, thanks. The mission, essentially, is to retrieve Dr. Renault's wagon and drive it back to him. Hey. Arthur likes to help people, so this is no big deal for him. The encounter will go pretty much as one would expect. Doctor friend of mine lost his wagon. You all ain't seen it, have you? Up it. I'm this fool. There's always time to loot, and also a loot box under the floorboards of this building. Here is your map. It's the building closest to the Y in Lemoyne on the Kamasa River. And here is perhaps the most annoying wagon in the game, just because it's so hard to drive. I recommend going into first person if you are having difficulty with this or any wagon. Also note that there will be two more hostiles who aren't finished borrowing Dr. Renault's wagon. That all of you? Shit. 
First playthrough, really thought we'd have a clearance issue with this bridge. Also, passing other wagons can get a little hairy. But we return the wagon relatively unscathed and get a little honor boost and a recipe for special health cure. Oh, look who it is! I did not count on seeing that wagon again. No you for that matter. The only people you won't be seeing are the folks that took it. Uh, I take it they aren't the only ignorant bullying clodhoppers in these parts. But I can live in glorious hope. Uh, it wasn't a trouble now, was it? No, it was a pleasure. Yeah, let me give you something for your pleasure. Ah, what we got here. Ah, how about this? Provide a man a tincture, he'll be well for a day. Teach him to make one, he might be well a while longer. I'll make sure to try and make this. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. Also, I really like Dr. Renault's purple vest. Note the double row of buttons. Very fancy. It won't work for anything chronic, but you may not need it to. Well, if you see me on my travels and you're in need of something, make sure you come and say hello. Travel safe now. After that, Arthur says goodbye and the event is complete. Now let's follow him and see what happens. And like I said at the start of this video, nothing happens. I, I'm looking for Gavin. He's my best friend. Here's Gavin's friend, not that we have time to deal with him right now. He left me. I lost him. I mean, I lost him. Yeah. Someone must have seen an English word. We cannot interact with Dr. Renault and there is no more additional dialogue. I suppose it's always possible to steal the wagon and sell it to Seamus, but that just seems rude. And look at how tall and thin it is. How has this wagon not tipped over? Now I was happy to follow this wagon until he completed his loop, but the game tricked us and we walked straight into a dead biscuit event. We tried to loop around and avoid the lady, but she got us. She has sharp eyes. Arthur has to help. My damn horse died on me and my legs are hurting and I need to get home. Be happy to. Get on. Oh, you kind, mister. If 
Sevilla be so kind to take me to La Gran. That's where I'm from. That's where my people is from. Sure, oh, that's fine. Don't normally trust no outside man. No offense, mister. Just don't trust them much. Quite all right, ma'am. I don't trust them much either. And here's some floating moonshine. What's that about? You seem like a horse rider. Yeah, your whole life, I bet. Let's see if we can catch up with Dr. Renault. Maybe he's also going to Legra. That would be convenient. Horse don't help much in Legra, no. Need a horse can swim fine as a duck be much more used to us. This lady is probably my favorite of all the ladies Arthur helps. She has a great attitude and while grateful for Arthur's help, is unimpressed with him and unafraid to tell him so. And she also has a wonderful accent. Last horse we bugged, got his foot stuck in the mud, gator came and ripped his leg off. The horse just wobbling in the water, another gator came and took the other leg. And no, he's heading to Saint Denis. Perhaps he has an office there. Oh well. Arthur likes this lady. Then the horse fell and died for a part time as could come by with a rifle on him. Honest, no word a lie. Honest, no word a lie. I really like the vocal performances in this game and also the dialogue. It seems so authentic and alive. Jeez. You sure it's the horse that's the problem? Maybe you should be worrying about the gators. Where was it? Le Gras? Well, that's how I like this. Bet you travel a lot. You a fool. I love how she calls Arthur a fool. She's fearless, and she has a point, and Arthur agrees, or at least understands. Can't find yourself no home to live and grow and die and if you always moving. Can't build no roots down. Can't grow nothing up. Always moving is no good. Maybe I don't want roots. How about that? I'm not looking to settle. They do share similar values, and I think Arthur knows this on some basic level. Arthur has created his own family. It's not traditional and outside of the law, but he values stability and loyalty as much as this lady does. At least in his own fashion. You think when was the last time you spent the week in the same bed? How long ago was that? I asked you that it was a long time. No offense, but I bet it's been a long time for you. Weren't no need. I never leave my home. You won't call it humble, and it is. And I ain't no more proud than I need to be. But it feels good having something your own. Ain't no war, ain't no boss man, ain't no train gonna take that from me. We getting close, don't die or not. This video is sponsored by Batman Tonio, my second gaming channel where I play all the video games I enjoy that are not Red Dead Redemption 2. Like and subscribe for deep dive gaming commentaries where I overanalyze and focus on the details. Okay, here's good. Thank you, mister. Please let me give you this on account of you being so kind. Hope I never have to be on that horse again, dang animals. Good luck with the wildlife, miss. You be well. I ain't gonna forget what you did for me, no. And here we are in Le Gras. We got a closer look at Dr. Renault's wagon, and then we helped this lady. I would say it was a good day for Arthur. He has certainly had worse ones. I'm Super Antonio. Thanks for watching. I have appreciate your views. Like, comment, share, and subscribe, and hit that notification bell for daily Red Dead Redemption 2 content. We shall meet again. Uh, good girl. Further on down the trail. Besides, what do you care, Englishman? You've got no time for me. I tried to find your work, but then you're off cutting jobs with other folks, and your boy Sean doesn't get a look in. Guess I don't want to get shot, that's all. <laughs>